Today's the day you are coming with me in a day in the life of an animation student in quarantine. We just had our morning meeting uh, at school, a read Discord, where we just talk about what we're going to do. So today I will do a lot of animating for my exam or thesis film or whatever it's called. Uh, which is called Beloved, which is about a little girl and a grandma becoming friends. I have so much to do. Yeah, you will see what I do in a day. Uh, and disclaimer, it will be a lot of drawing because that's what I do. Especially when I can't do anything else as to go outside and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I do in a day while stuck at home as uh, mentioned i usually go to school uh in oslo but since the thing you know i decided to come home to my parents house and work from there oh my arm is killing me so i thought i would show you guys that i set up right now so this is on my computer don't ask me what it is because I don't know I usually have like a widescreen monitor but I didn't want to bring that from also because it's heavy and I'm weak so yeah I have my trusty Deadpool bottle which I love because I love me some Deadpool my uh, something headset thing, my camera, if in case this camera dies, my iPad, which I animate on, my makeshift uh, like mouse thing, because I forgot mine in Oslo. Like, if you have question about like, what kind of keyboard is this, and what kind of mouse is this, and I don't know, okay, I, I don't know. I just, it's rainbows, I bought it, because it looked cool, okay. I think I... I uh, would start my day off with some sketching. I really want to get better at like drawing. I try to like learn one new thing in art every day or like work on stuff every day and just like not just do what I'm comfortable with. Last night I started sketching some dynamic poses and I found out that I'm not really great at doing it. So I think I will start with that. With drawing in my sketchbook. As you will see I don't use expensive art tools so if you're a broke biz like me this will be the video just for you. So yeah sketching okay sketch. So hi welcome to my workstation. <laughs> so when I sketch these dynamic poses I really like to just go on Pinterest I like to draw from photo reference, not uh, I don't like to draw from what other people have drawn because that's their interpretation of life and I really want mine. You don't know, maybe their anatomy is off and you are teaching yourself wrong anatomy, you don't want to do that. You will just be seeing me sketching some and then we will get into the work of like the school work. See you guys in a minute. So it's now 10 o'clock and I've done my drawings, they turn out okay, 
Black Tom and Spider Man. And I have the gems. So, when you're drawing in your sketchbook, don't worry about it looking pretty. And just for me to get better, really. So, uh, I don't worry about it a lot. It's in my sketchbook. Um, yeah. So, yeah, dynamic sketching are done. It's time for me to actually get my schoolwork started. So, my shot for today will be this one right here. So, I use Ref Animator to uh, all my animation and storyboarding. So, I worked on this shot yesterday or finished it. Um, yeah, walking in perspective is hard, but at least you can see her walking. So, I like this app, it's pretty good for you know, for the iPad. So before I start animating, I really like to film reference. So we have this beautiful reference of me <laughs> from like two days ago. It's a very subtle animation today. So she's just going to look back and then she's going to sigh from relief because she's just saved from the awkwardness by a phone call. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. So. What I usually start first is just sketching out the main poses, getting the timing right, then in betweening, and then doing a clean pass. So I'm only doing two passes, which is kind of like bad, but I don't have time for anything else. So let's get started. I have this beautiful background by Guru, which will help me line up Aina with the right perspective and. So if we can do what she's supposed to do in here. So yeah, very good. Thank you for being good, Google. Mostly done with my key poses. Um, she looks down at the table and up at the old uh, lady who's sitting like at the opposite side of the table. And then they get the eye contact, so she's like, oh no. And then the old lady's supposed to walk by, and then she looks to see what the, the old woman is doing. So, yeah, that's my plan. Now it's only to in between this and then clean up.
Okay, so now I'm done with the ink drawing. We can have a look. So, still very rough, but um, that's what's clean up our for. So, that's my next step. Yay! Okay, so. Let's do some cleanup. nine o'clock I'm still working on this shot just have some dinner only a couple of frames left but I thought I would give you some advice when you are on a tight time budget like me and uh, you need to get stuff done it's important to find like tips and tricks to like cut your workload she's sitting pretty still here and uh, it's only her eyes set shift and her head. What can be smart to do is to duplicate the, the frames so that the body are the same. So if I just fill this part and scroll through, you see it's just one image, but it doesn't appear so because we are focused on the face. That's what I'm doing to like cut some of my workload, uh, but it's still pretty time consuming. I've been playing this up for maybe about three hours already. Almost finished and then we can get over to some different stuff. Officially done. Let's see. Yep, one day's work. But yeah, finally done. Uh, so now I can do stuff I like doing, or not. I don't like this, but cleanup is kind of exhausting so yeah I'm happy I'm done with it right now I thought I would draw my daily drawing because I also post daily on Instagram a drawing or if I don't have time I will post what I animated but I do have time because it's still only 10 30 so I have some time before I have to go to bed What can we talk about? I guess it's the huge elephant in the room. You know what? Keeping us home. Uh, 
for me, I'm kind of like loving it. <laughs> Not the virus, but staying at home. I just sit there and draw all day. What better thing to do is it? I don't have to walk anywhere, don't have to see anyone. Everybody is sitting at home boring themselves to death and I'm like, what do you mean? You can just draw all day. It's fantastic. So yeah, I'm kind of like not normal, I guess. My eyes are getting bloodshot because I, I'm not sleeping enough and I'm staring at screens all day. Uh, this is what I see every single day, like for at least 14 hours of day of the day. Today was kind of a slow animating day for me. I'm usually, I usually have a lot of more done, but it was kind of in a slow art day, like nothing turned out the way I wanted it to. I have so little time. I need to draw, I need to animate, I need to draw like this and this and this and I suck at this. Yeah, okay. Okay. Drawing. Okay, so my day are officially over. I drew some... I don't know if they're aliens or creatures or I don't, I don't know. Thanks, I drew stuff, yeah. Finished the Unbelievable series on Netflix. Solid 8 out of 10, very good. They're addressing some very important stuff, so very definitely worth a watch. And it also made me cry. Done with the drawing. Done with the day. It's currently... Almost one o'clock. So, yeah. Thank you guys for following me in this day of my life as an animation student in quarantine. So, yeah. You can check out our channel for more videos uh, and to see how my partner's day in the life were. Uh, that we posted last Monday. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and uh, if you guys like this kind of videos, just let us know and we will make sure to make more of them. Uh, because this was very chill and yeah, I really like this format, so if you want to see how our journey with this animation studio goes, please make sure to subscribe and like and all that stuff, and um, I will see you guys next time. Very nice talking to you guys. Keep animating and keep arting. Stay strong. Wash your hands. That's all.